Love Bird Living Planet Aquarium. My name is Michelle and I'm an educator here. And I'm here to guide you guys through because you guys can't come to the aquarium right now. So we're going to bring the aquarium to you. Now, if only I had someone, hey. someone who knows stuff to guide me through the aquarium. I wonder who that could, oh my gosh, who better than Scarlet the Scarlet Macaw. Yeah, you ready? You up for the task? Well, it looks like Scarlet, you're ready to explore, yeah? Yeah, but I see my friend Lucas over there. I'm gonna go chat with him. You have fun exploring the bottom floor of Journey to South America. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Lucas. What's up, man? Oh, you know, just trying to keep all these plants happy. Keeping all these plants happy. Is that what you do here at the aquarium? Yeah, I am actually on the horticulture team. So part of the husbandry team, but specifically taking care of the plants and all the other things that grow that aren't fish or animals. So things like plants, uh, what else? I mean, there's there's fungus that actually grows in here that colonizes as so well. So fungus making you a fun guy, am I right? Anyway, so, so you take care of plants. Um, why is that important here? Well, you know, it's interesting. Um, being that we are the living planet aquarium, um, a good part of our planet is actually the flora. Um, so we have uh, plants that are housing the animals. We have plants that are food sources for the animals, which ultimately go all the way up the food chain. And so plants really are kind of the uh, foundation for everything. What's something that you'd like to share about the plants here? Well, um, we actually have a pretty great collection uh, in the journey of South America here. And one of our greatest collections actually is begonias. Begonias is like the largest, well, one of the largest genus of flowering plants in the world, over 1,800 species. That's a lot of flowers. It is a lot. And many of them grow at the very, very, very bottom of the jungle floor. So they make these adaptations in order to still feed off the sun's light at the very, very, very amounts of low light. So let me grab a leaf real quick for you. This is so cool. I'm so excited about this. Now, don't worry, I can actually grow a plant from this exact leaf. What? So this plant is a begonia maize. Now, if you see, it actually reflects the light pretty great. So most plants will photosynthesize and they reflect the green light, taking the energy from that light, well, the blues, the reds. But this has something that's adapted for the very, very low light. And it can actually harness green light, which all the other plants reflect and get rid of. Wow. And so it ups its ability to photosynthesize by about 10%. That's fascinating. So plants can adapt all the way from the bottom of the jungle floor all the way up to the top of the canopy. Many species of animals are arboreal. They live in the trees their entire life. So sloths and grits and so porcupines, tree frogs. I mean, you know, that's, they never leave the plants. That's so interesting. In fact, I think that's a great next stop. We've talked about the floor of the forest. Let's make our way up to the treetops. And it looks like Scarlet's on her way over there right now. Now I know you guys can't come to the aquarium, but we're gonna bring the aquarium to you. Tune in next time to see some more amazing tree dwellers here in Journey to South America.